In today's video, we're opening one of every type of Yu-Gi-Oh product. Time to do, 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 do. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. In this video, I compiled one of each type of every Yu-Gi-Oh product. You might wonder what that means. I'm gonna show you guys in just a second, but first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this ultimate rare Dark Requiem Xyz Dragon from OTS 15. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know your favorite type of Yu-Gi-Oh product and let's get into what those actually are. Hey guys. What? You were not at my last what not stream? Fear not, there's another stream upcoming. Thursday, June 1st at 5 p.m. Central. We have done some insane giveaways and sold some awesome stuff on Whatnot. I've given away over $3,000 in cards and we've opened some insane packs and sold some awesome singles. Why should you join Whatnot? Because Whatnot is an awesome live streaming platform where you can buy, sell, or just simply view live streams of people opening products, selling things such as cards, shoes, and other collectibles. You can find my show just by clicking the link down below, which will give you $15 for free with your first purchase on whatnot then go to the search bar search ruxin 34 you'll see my profile click on the shows tab then save the show for the shows that i have coming soon we've done some amazing streams on whatnot so i hope to see you there june 1st at 5 p.m it's gonna be pretty amazing thanks again to whatnot for sponsoring this video so konami packages their different products in different forms and different ways one of the most popular is the mega tin so the way they do this is they put it into a metal tin they've been doing this since 2002 every single year has had some form they weren't always called mega tins but there were always tins there were metal tins inside there were packs a lot of times we have promos we did it in this one but we will be getting them in 2023 which is exciting and this is a fan favorite because these usually have a lot of reprints a lot of really cool value in them and back in the day they had some real cool artwork some awesome promos so good stuff then there is the booster boxes which is you know pretty normal for a trading card game now booster boxes a lot of different sets main sets side sets all come in booster boxes this is pretty standard basically you just get 24 packs a lot of the time back in the day you'd get 36 sometimes but basically 24 packs no promos or anything like that but you could get a lot of really cool things in here then there are the display sets so they come like ooh, ghost from the past second haunting stuff like maximum gold gold series all that different stuff they come in like different small mini boxes inside of this display with a few packs inside so it's a different way they do it they usually do about one of these sets a year sometimes they'll do a couple then we have game board edition so we got like legendary collections here stuff like that we had binders back in the day which i'm not going to be doing binders because they haven't come out with a binder in a very very long time but legendary collections like game board edition we've had a uh, legendary collection kaiba came in this legendary collection yugi we've had other stuff i'm trying to think if there was anything that wasn't a legendary collection in one of these i don't think so but there's been several of these then we have one that's been discontinued but it was such a big deal for many many years the special edition so i'm not doing all the discontinued stuff there was deluxe editions as well but those were only like four sets they didn't really catch on this is a little bit different because these went from 2002 to 2020 so these went for a very long time so we have a secret edition up from movie pack that we're going to be opening up today so those are all the different kinds there's probably a couple other things they've done over the years but these are the real staples of the way we get our product we're going to open them up and see the best ratios in terms of value that we pull so let me know in the comments right now what you think will win and what you prefer personally. All right, I am going to open up this Ghost from the Past and, other, and the booster box and everything like that just so we can get it to a more manageable way to open these and then we'll start the opening. Oh. All right, I went ahead and opened the Ghost from the Past display because those take forever to open. There's so much packaging. So I got those out. Then I got the Legendary Collection open. So we have the promos and then we have the five uh, packs there. So that'll add to the value of the Legendary Collection, about 10 bucks there. Then we're going to crack open this Cyberstorm Access Booster Box, which is one of the newest sets. I think it is the newest set at this point. This set was so weird because it came right after the Legendary Collection. It just kind of flew under the radar. We opened a lot of it, but I mean, I can just tell by the numbers. People didn't really care about it as much as, as usual. So I don't know. They put it in a weird spot two weeks after legendary collection it's hard to follow okay we're gonna open the tin and the special edition as we go because there are more packs and like the display and the, the booster box and everything so the way we're gonna score it is basically we are going to whoops rux and special we're going to do like the percentage of the value so like the box is worth you know cyberstorm access maybe 60 65 something like that whatever we figure it out to be but you know if they pull like 20 bucks out that means they got like 30 percent or whatever of their total value pulled and that way it'll be able to compare like things like the special edition is like a ten dollar fifteen dollar item you know obviously it's not going to pull as much value so it has to be percentage based we're going to do legendary collection two here there's only five packs so hero masters a lot of great cards in here we've done many videos on these with ryo mega pack go watch those 
crazy videos on value. We have Dark Lord Desire. Super Poly! All right! Starting it off hot. That is a good one. Lightning Dragon, not so good. But hey, good secret rare. We will take that. All right, already an awesome start for this opening. Super Poly is really good. I've had some insane luck with my openings recently. I don't know what is going on, but I'm pulling insane. I'm okay with that continuing. Like, I, I'm, I'm good. They're like, let's just keep doing it. A Luber, that's a good one. I know it's gonna make the videos more fun, so we might as well pull Insane while we're doing them, right? I mean, I know you guys prefer the Insane pull, so let's make it happen. One, two, three, four for Cyberstorm Access. Let's get a Starlight Rare here, why not? We have a Dual Avatar, Super Every Samurai. I cannot pull these cards. I've recorded a lot of videos today because I was getting like, actually caught up on my videos numbers. Evil. And uh, yeah, you gotta have some videos ready for your editors to edit or else things are not good. You're like, hey, well, how am I gonna edit videos if you don't send them to me? So I'm getting a little caught up. So, you know, Philly's coming up, Fossil, Proxy. I'm, I'm dating myself right now. So you're probably seeing this after Philly somehow. Um, let's do Legendary Collection too. Yeah, we gotta get ahead for that because when you're gone, you know, we gotta upload videos, all that different stuff. Crystal Beast, and obviously we want videos on the channel, right? We have Our Righteous Justice, we have Dogma. We have Phantom of Chaos. Oh, Dogma was a super, I kind of forgot about that. Phantom of Chaos, that's not bad. And then we have a Venominaga, the, the deity of poisonous snakes. We'll probably do the movie pack secret edition or tin in a couple of packs here. I mean, we gotta open some of these just so... We don't have a million of these packs left and we've already opened everything else. But how, what do I prefer? Let me think about which of these products do I like the best? I think that in terms of opening for like YouTube, that's like a different thing. Cause like opening booster boxes is cool, but you know, there's like the ratio and everything. So you know what to expect. You guys know what I think about this. You know, opening kind of more random packs is more fun. You usually don't get as good a value in terms of your pack that you're actually buying. You know, it costs more, you know, when you're buying a random pack or like a blister or whatever, but it's a little bit more fun. So if I was to buy like a special edition or like a legendary collection, I'd probably have like a better chance of something crazy happening, which is what we want on YouTube videos. Obviously we have winged Karibo, we have Voltic, Rainbow Gravity. So if I was to pick for like YouTube, I would not pick the booster box. So Plasma. Ooh, and an Avian alternate art. That's nice. And an Octavius. Okay, not bad either. Then a Necro Shade. Good pulls out of Legendary Collection. We've already opened like two or three of those. So I probably need to... We only got two left. So yeah, I should probably hold on to those for the rest of the video. Not the rest, but a lot more of the video. We have Ghost Trick Lantern. All those Ghost Trick fans. MBT Sandwich. We have... Fallen Sanctuary, okay. Not too bad, not too bad. Cyberstorm Access, we got a lot of your packs, so let's see if we can pull something crazy. A lot of good cards in this set. Pendulum Moon, we have Numlaria, Brightest, we got Pendulum. Bunny Ears from Looney Tunes, Double Hooking, Gunkin, and a Harvest Angel of Doom, more super rares. Let's just open another Cyberstorm Access. Then I think we'll open the tin up and then uh, see what's inside. No promos, just the four packs, or the three packs, I should say. We have Dynamorphia. Who's excited about promos in 2023, though? That's going to be big. Let me know in the comments. Especially 25th rares. I mean, that's going to be big. Oh! <laughs> Why do we always pull this guy? It's the worst secret. He looks so cool, but he's just not good. All right, that's our sign to move on to the Mega Ten. So let's open this Mega Ten up. Oh, I got to be careful with your knives, guys. All right, inside the Gold Sarcophagus is the 2022 Pharaoh Gods. Not the Gold Sarcophagus 10. That was 2019, I believe. All right, let's open a Mega Pack 2022. Let's get a Pot of Prosperity real quick. Let's just make it happen. We have Magic E. We have Heavy Bee Trooper. Miasclick. Zexal Interest. We have you and I. Red Carp. We have Rux and Special. That was a rare. We have Radiant. We have another Super. Oh, yeah, a lot of Supers here. Machina Uncle Sparks. We have Dogmatica. Genesis. And a Ghost Ogre. And Snow Rabbit. That's a good one. We're going to be getting two Prismatic Secrets in this year's 10 as well. Plus, of course, the 25th Anniversary Rare. So that's going to be insane. Okay, Cyberstorm Access. Let's go. Let's make it happen. One, two, three, four. We have Gold Pride. Start your engine. No, different card. I just like start your engines better. We have Reframing, Fallen. We have Pig Iron, Pearly, and a Manadium. Or I am much. Very nice. Manadium cards. Yeah, you know, they've had they've had some lore already just from the Twitter memes and stuff. I think it was the other one, but still. All right, in Zector Sword, we have a Rose Spectre. That's got to be an old TP card for sure. We have Drama Manitage of Despi. I can't speak. And, okay. No Ghost Rare. I was hoping it was a Ghost right after that fumble, but... Nope, nothing. Cyberstorm access, let's go. We should open the movie pack secret edition as well soon. One, two, three, four. Movie pack secret edition is a fun one. Special editions were cool. The only thing I don't like about them is they weren't first edition packs in most of them. Sometimes you could get first edition packs, but uh, most of the time it wasn't. That's a good super rare. That card was like four bucks when it first came out. I don't know if it's gone down or not though. Ghost from the past, will you bless us? Yeah, make sure to let me know your favorite way to open packs, guys. I want to know. We have Tinny Spirit Vishu. That's a good one. Blaze Dragon and, oh, 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 okay. Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight. I thought I, 
you know, missed it. So I was like, ooh, good one. Movie pack, Secret Edition, Dark Side of Dimensions. We do get promos out of this one. So, uh, yeah, we've got the Sealed Crystal Dragon. I think there's a couple more cards in there, but they're always the same cards. Okay. Movie pack, Secret Edition. Can we get that Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon? We have They're all secret rares, by the way. Vulcan. Metamorph Fortress. We have the Magical Contract Door and the Guile, the Cubic King. All secret rares, but nothing we actually want. Cyberstorm Access. Bless us with some crazy pulls. One, two, three, four. Let's go. We have Halu, the Jewel, Makanko, Manadium Breakheart, Hatsugi, Kashira, Golden Cloud Beast, Trap Tracks, Sulfur Cord, Rocks, and Special Right to the Super Rare. Okay. Let's do another Cyberstorm Access because we have the most Cyberstorm Access packs. There's 24 of those. There's 20 Ghosts from the Past 2. The other ones we have like 3 to 5. You have 3 on the Special Edition, 3 on the 10, and 5 on the Legendary Collection. We have Samurai. How did I get here? And Albion, the Sanctifier Dragon. Already got two Secret Rares. Maybe we'll get one of those weird three Secret Boxes. Ghosts from the Past 2. How about a 5 Ghost Rare pack? Anybody interested? I'm down. We have Fossil, we have Proxy, we have Master Fly here, Master Fly, Master Flare Hyperion. Guys, look, I've recorded a lot of videos, okay? I'm struggling to speak. I'm struggling, okay? I'm, I'm struggling to speak. I don't know if I've said that enough times for you guys to understand. One, two, three, four. Okay, I've said it enough for sure. Reinforce, we have the Dream Defender, Shattered, Sword Soul, we got Looney Tunes, we got Pendulum Pendant, we have Kitsune, Imperial, and Grand Sulfur Cord, Coolia. All right, Ghosts from the Past 2, I believe in you. Let's sprinkle in another pack after this because we've done a lot of these Ghosts from the Past 2s and Cyberstorms. Maybe we'll pull a Starlight, a Ghost, you know, and a Secret, and a crazy stuff in this one. Okay, not in that one. Mega Pack 2022. Come on. Prod of Prosperity, here we go. Guitar, Magicky, Star Mine, Bee Trooper, Rocket Caliber, Aerial Picks 3, we got a Ruxin Special, that is a rare. Binary Blader, we got the Daphne, we got Soul Energy. Abyss Keeper, and a Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. What a 10. That's two good Prismatic Secrets so far. We will take that. That's sick. Red Eyes Dark Dragoon and Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit is not bad. Cyberstorm Access. Let us access the epic pulls right here. One, two, three, four. We have Dream Tower, Reinforce, Shattered, Sword Soul, Fallen. We have How Did I Get Here? Gold Pride. We got a Ruxin Special, Bestial Luber. Okay, nice card, but not what I was trying to do there when I Ruxin Special. Five card pack. Will it contain a ghost? Come on, ghost rare. We have a Despia and Deco Talker Heat Soul. Not a bad card, but no, not a ghost. Cyberstorm Access. Bless us with some amazing pulls. One, two, three, four. Here we go. We have Super Heavy Samurai Motorbike Duplication. We have the Mayo Wishidori. We have Sushi Reframing Trap Tracks. We have Imperial Princess and Constellar Teller Knights. Constellar Teller Knights. It's kind of rhymey right there. I like it a lot. All right. Two packs from the back, or two cards from the back. Zombie World. We have Zing. Number 38, Hope Harbinger. We have Yang Zing. And we have a Time Thief Temper Wall. You are my Temper Wall. How does that go again? That tune? I don't know. Not Temper Wall, obviously, but one, two, three, four. All right. New Frontier. Come on. Bless us with something crazy. That's a two Ruxin special right there. Gold Pride, Sigatama, and June Moon. Have we got an Ultra Rare out of there yet? I don't know. Let's do Movie Pack Secret Edition. Let's see if we can get a Blue Eyes Alternative, a Dark Magician Girl. Slide for the Sky Dragon. How about that one? Deep Eyes White Dragon is also a good one. Okay, good pulls. We got Chaos Form, also pretty good. And a Cubic Seed. That was a really good pack. Three out of five were really nice cards. Okay, longer opening today, faux show. We got a lot of packs. One, two, three, four. Hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. Dinomorphia. We've got a lot of cool videos coming up for 200k. Make sure to subscribe to the channel because we are almost there, guys. There's a Firewall Defensor. Very nice card, but we are almost at 200k. So close. I'm excited. It's going to be awesome. One, two. I can't believe we're already at 200k. I mean, it's been like a couple years, but still. I mean, it still feels fast. Vampire Grace. Despian Comedy. And a Luber again. That's two a Luber in that mini box. That's pretty good. Pulls have been solid today, for sure. So many packs in a booster box compared to everything else. All right, Cyberstorm Access. Here we go. Brightest Blazing. Dream Tower. Fusion Dupe. We got Cyber Sage. We got a Ruxin Special there. We got Trap Tracks. Kitsune. And a Libromancer Origin Story. That is an ultra rare. We will take that any day of the week. And speaking of ultra rares, let's pull five right here out of Ghost from the Past 2. And by five, I mean let's pull four in a Ghost Rare. We have Tinny Spirit. We have a card I can't read. We have Chimera to Grand Pants Dragon with Lupation and the Vision Hero Increase. Another nice one. Cyberstorm Access. We got to do a Legendary Collection 2-pack next. One, two, three, four. It's been a while since we've opened one of those. 
Dream Defender. We have Cash Tira, Hatsugi. Gold Pride Pedal to the Metal. Pedal to the Metal. Fallen. We have Pearl Lee. We have Cybers. And we have s Force Night Chaser. All right, time for another Legendary Collection 2 pack, which has been really good to us so far. Let's see. I think we did two from the back, and that worked. We have Mizuki. That's a great card. Amethyst Cat. We got Necroid Shaman. Also pretty good. A lot of commons in here worth something. Necroid Shaman may be one of them. Dark Gaia. That's worth a few bucks. Another Avian in the same box. That's still pretty sick. And then another Venomonaga. Weird. Glonios. This is money. I think this thing's like seven bucks for some reason. We'll take that. Not bad. Surprise, surprise. Legendary Collection 2 is deciding to win again. Insane. Cyberstorm Access. Let's see if you can make a comeback. Legendary Collection 2 is just great value. It always is. We have... Nadium, Samurai, Imaginings, Reinforce, Firewall Phantom, Soul Core, we got Smoisonite, we got Golden Cloud Beast, and a Teller Knight Lyran. Ghost from the past too, come on baby, give us that Ghost Rare, we haven't gotten one right uh, so far, I mean, uh, today, I can't, I can't say if I've gotten one today or not, but we've got Domain, but in this video, I have not gotten one, okay. Cyberstorm Access, no spoilers, I'm just saying, I can't say anything, one, two, three, four. We have Full Active, we have Cyber Sage, that was a another, it's always the second and third card I and special voice tonight symphony we got kitsune and time tearing morganite that's a good card i think that card was like four bucks when it came out as well they actually put two amazing supers in one set it's kind of weird because normally supers you know they're not good because they're basically rares now let's do two from the back we have despian tragedy vion vampire glow up bloom and we got ghost trick mary at it again okay we're getting close to time for the last megaton pack one, two, three, four. Here we go. Sweet Dreams, Brightest. We got Manadium. We got Manadium Breakheart. We got Bunny Years Enthusiast, Pendulum Pendant, Intuitive for the Branded, Double Hooking, and a Wish Dragon. One of my favorite super rares. I do really like that card. All right, another one. Cyberstorm Access. So far, an okay box. The Albion was pretty good. What's our first secret rare? I think it was, the, yeah, it was the bad one. That's right. I already wiped it from my memory. We have Stealthy Pigpen. We have Etude and Super Every Samurai Commander Shinawo. Time for our last Mega 10 2022 pack. Let's go. Give us something good. Hidden Springs, Ice Jade, Ice Breeze, Ultra Bee Trooper. We got Black Eyes, Eraser Laser. Got a reprint as a common there. We got Screams of the Branded, Pegasus. To start us trail, we got Nibiru, nice, and an Ash Blossom! What an insane tin! Two awesome hand trap, prismatic secret rares, Nibiru, an awesome hand trap, and then a red eyes Dark Dragoon. I mean, that was an awesome, awesome tin. I said Legendary Collection 2 is going to win, but I mean, honestly, the tin probably made more than it was worth back. That's pretty insane. Probably a $30 tin, and it made at least $30, I would think, or maybe around $30. Man, 100% value back, pretty good, per Lily. Gungan Sue Ship, come on. We got a pendant. I can't pull these. Pinned in. I can't speak either. Wanna be. I don't wanna be able to not pull these cards. We've gotten it down to four packs left of Ghost of the Past 2 and Cyberstorm Access, and then one of each of the other two. We got Course of Sanctuary. Come on. Alter Guys Fall Over. Got Master Hyperion and Fossil Warrior Skull Knight. Pretty nice cards. Okay, Cyberstorm Access. We haven't pulled a Starlight yet. I'm just saying. One, two, three, four. We haven't pulled anything like Super High Rarity, and we haven't pulled like a. It has to be a Ghost or Starlight. We don't have any ulti packs here today. How did I get here? Awesome card. Belong. We have Booster. We have Sakatama and Teller Knight. All terrain. Ghost from the past. Give us something good. One, two. Give us a pass pull like we've had before and Ghost from the past. Here we go. Despian Comedy. No, not that time. One more pack of Cyberstorm Access before we go on to the movie pack. Secret Edition. Potentially pull that Blue Eyes alternative dragon. Here we go. Pendulum Moon. Makanko. Hatsuge, Makanko, Worm, Sleepy, we got Soul Gaia, Double Hooking, and Manadium Fearless, just a super Manadium card. All right, our final movie pack, Secret Edition. Will we get a Secret Rare? The answer is yes, because there's five in every pack, but will it be a good one? Crystal, Gandora X, Final Gas, Kiwi Magician, not bad, and a Counter Gate, okay. Not a great ending, but still, a Kiwi Magician is not bad. All right, we'll end it with Legendary Collected 2. So let's open our last couple, Ghost from the Past 2 and Cyberstorm Access, see if we can pull something insane. They could have the craziest pulls, you know, Ghost Rare, Starlight Rare, with Chimera Tech, with Laplacian, oh, 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 and a Borland. Borland's pretty good, but uh, not insane. Cyberstorm, don't forget to let me know in the comments your favorite version, you know, your favorite style or type of pack or product, I guess I should say. Cybers, come on, give us a Starlight Rare. We have Moisa. We have Gold Pride. It's neck and neck. We have the Worm. 
Phantom and Manadium Abstention. Okay. One more ghost from the past, too. Come on, baby. Bless us. One, two. With a ghost jar in the final pack here. Zombie World, Pendulum Area, Sinai Conflict. We have a Domain of the Monarchs and a Sacred Waters in the Sky. And our last pack of this booster box, the only booster box represented today. So let's see if they can represent well with the Starlight Rare and prove that you can pull good stuff out of booster boxes. Pedal to the metal, pedal to the metal. We got How Did I Get Here? We got Looney Tunes, Foo Foo. We got Reframing and a Bee Trooper Cruel Saturnus. That is cool because it's an insect. But other than that, not a secret rare. Okay, Legendary Collection 2, our final pack today. This is probably a battle between Legendary Collection 2 and... Um, the Mega 10. Let's see. Legendary Collection 2 and Mega 10 have both pulled really well. Wingman, we have Recovery. Non-Fusion Area. If you guys enjoyed the video so far, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Aqua Neos, that's awesome. Will we get a Seeker? That's good. Banish of the Radiance, pretty solid. And, okay, that's not a good one. Kid Guard, will there be a good common though? Crystal Abundance, we have a Offering, and that's it. Interesting. So, here's the score and what their total ratios are. So, the best percentage will be first place. Let's see who won. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Mycycle, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and then a tie show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.